All right, we are still on page 89 with vocabulary, where it says, it's a little unethical. All right, so these are prefixes that all mean not, and they go in front of these words, okay, to make them negative. So we have, I've already filled these in, okay, and we'll talk about them, and you can practice pronouncing them. So for dis, we have disagreeable, okay, right? You don't, you're not a very agreeable person, disagreeable. Disapproving, okay, these, by the way, these are adjectives, so they describe uh, somebody's characteristic. Okay, uh, dishonest, the H is silent. All right, let's go to the next column. Ill, for illegal, it is not legal and illogical. Okay, it is not logical. It doesn't make sense. Then we have IR, or ear, irrational. This is usually uh, when people are acting too, very emotionally and not thinking things through. Irrational. Then we have irresponsible. Okay, sometimes we say, oh, I was, I was very irresponsible in my behavior. All right, then we have un, unacceptable, unethical, unfair, unscrupulous. Now that one's a mouthful. So the word is scrupulous. Okay, so let's think a lot of people have trouble with this word. Let's kind of clap the syllables. First, just the regular word. Scrupulous, scrupulous. And if you put un in front of it, unscrupulous. So what in the world does that mean? Okay. So it just means it's like being dishonest. Okay. Not doing things properly. You know, not paying a, attention to detail. You know, if you say scrupulous, he was very scrupulous. You know, did everything correctly. Okay. Paying attention to detail. Okay, so it can mean that too. Um, sometimes you hear people say, oh, uh, his unscrupulous business practices cost the company millions. Okay, sometimes it's used that way. And then the last one, untrustworthy. Right, so we've got two words here, trustworthy, but un in front of it. Untrustworthy. Okay, so they're good words to know, very common words to know. All right, um, you'll have some sentences where you will fill in or circle the words. I don't remember which, but make sure you understand these correctly. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to, uh, you know, send me an email. I'll do my best to answer them. All right, that's it for now. Um, have a good rest of your day or your evening, and um, let me know if you have any questions. Questions?